It's the 30th of May and now it's the afternoon. I was hoping that the sun would come out but it's clearly not going to. Um, so um, I'm back in the greenhouse um, having lots more fun and um, what I'm going to show you this afternoon are my um, cauliflowers. They, these are the Romanesco ones um, that I sowed quite a long time ago actually. Um, most probably, what are we now? I would imagine it was about the beginning of April, I should imagine. Um, and here they are, they're doing really well. I've got loads of other brassicas out in the allotment. Um, the cabbages are out, sprouting broccoli's out, um, kale and various other things. And other things are waiting to go out in the next few weeks. Um, and I've still got a few brassicas in the greenhouse. She says, looking around, thinking, what other brassicas? I, do you know what? I think these are the last ones. Actually, these are the last of the brassicas to uh, to be potted up. Um, the Romanesco are gorgeous cauliflowers. They really are. Um, I'll put a little link so that you can um, you can find them. But they are just so so pretty and lovely. Uh, Taste like um, any of the other <coughs> cauliflowers that you you buy, um, but just look gorgeous. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to pot these up into their three inch pots. You may well notice that there are some brown leaves on the bottom here. Don't worry about these. These are the baby leaves that came through first uh, and they've just sort of um, fizzled away. Um, and so we don't we don't need to worry about those. And now we have got the true leaves that are coming. Um, these are all a good two to three inches tall. Um, so they are perfect for potting up into three inch pots. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I've got my three inch pot. I'm just gonna fill it with multi-purpose compost. Give it a gentle tap down and a gentle little pat down and then we just need to get some of these out now these have been in here for a, a little longer than i would usually expect them to <clears throat> so they might all come out yes they do they all come out in one go which is absolutely fabulous now if we look at oh dear look i just squashed the spider sorry mate sorry um <laughs> if we look under here we can see all the roots here there's lots of lovely ones coming down here they're very very healthy lovely lovely selection of roots so what we need to do is to very carefully prise them apart and we need to put one seedling per three inch pot so if you do hear some of the roots tearing ever so slightly please don't worry about it now we've got some underneath there we have got some lovely roots coming down they haven't spread out a huge amount they've more they, they seem to have gone down but now they'll be placed in their three inch pot then they'll be able to expand their roots out so make a nice hole as deep as you can in the middle of the compost and just place your little brassica seedling in. Now when it was in the tray the soil was here but I'm going to place it a lot further down okay so it's just underneath the first set of true leaves okay it makes it an awful lot shorter but then it will make it an awful lot more sturdier so just bring the compost all the way round firm it in and that's one done and I've just got the rest to do so I will get on to do those and I will come back to you when I'm done. Right well that's all the Romanesco cauliflowers done I've got 9, 18, 27 there and all I need to do now is to uh, give them a good water and again water from the bottom and then it'll encourage the roots to grow down um, as the water gets sucked up by the compost. So they'll stay in the greenhouse, I would guess for about another three to four weeks before I put them outside into the big wide world. Uh, but when I get to do that, I will show you.
Right, well, I'll keep these, as I said, in the greenhouse. And most probably the next time I go down to the allotment, I'll move these three trays down to the allotment greenhouse because um, that's where they eventually need to go is out into the allotment. So there's no point uh, keeping them here because I need to put the tomatoes, a load of tomatoes, in this greenhouse. So I'll move those down in about three four weeks time it might be less depending on the weather uh, when they're about uh, nine inches tall six to nine inches tall um, then I will plant them out um, into the allotment uh, but as I say when I do that um, I will show you but Romanesco are lovely cauliflowers come in all different colors not just the white ones that you find um, in the green grocers or in the supermarkets these ones are green uh, you can get purple ones which I've grown before which were called graffiti there are um, sort of yellowy orange ones as well they're just beautiful there's so many that you can find so if you can track down some of those even if you don't sow them from seed if you can um, just find you know the plants that you can plant out do because they just look amazing you have to protect them exactly the same as you would any other brassicas from the bottom from the slugs and snails and from the top from the birds so make sure that you net them as well but as I say when I get to do um, do that next stage uh, then I will show you well um, I've now got some more tomatoes that I need to pot up into six inch pots as you may well remember I've got quite a few of those to do um, so um, I've been doing um, and quite a few as and when I've had time so um, I've got a little bit of time before um, I need to start dinner so I think I will uh, I will get on and do some of those well I hope you found what I've shown you interesting and I look forward to seeing you soon hopefully <coughs> with a slightly clearer voice <laughs> bye bye <laughs>